Today's lesson is on lines and patterns. And we're going to be making some circular designs filled with line and pattern. And we want to try and invent our own lines and patterns. But let's look and see first what lines and patterns are. And then we're going to look into nature and see some lines and patterns in nature to help us be inspired for our designs. First of all, there's this is uh, First of all, there's all different kinds of line and pattern that you can combine. And you can combine all of these and invent your own. We have uh, straight lines, and you can combine straight lines together. There are zigzag lines, which are made up of straight lines that intersect and go in different opposite directions. Uh, we can have vertical lines going straight up and down, and this would be an example of a diagonal line, good, and we can do horizontal lines going across. And of course we can combine these kinds of lines, now these are the straight, with curved. And a curved line is a line that is not straight. And it can be wavy, it can be curly, different ways of using lines. So we're going to be thinking of all of these kinds of combinations. And now when a line connects together and touches, it forms a a circle or what's the circle category called? Spare. It's not a line, it's a sphere. Or shape. Yeah. So if I do a perfect circle or close to perfect, that's circular. Or I can make it oval. Straight lines that connect form squares or rectangles. So these can be used in our patterns today too. Okay, now let's look at nature. Here is, let me just flip this over. Here is a, a sea urchin. And if we're looking at nature, we're looking at the pattern in line. These lines all tend to merge together or start together at the center point. And they radiate out from a center point. This is called radial line or radial design. So here's an example like this, and it just repeats over and over again from a center point. Sometimes the lines can be curved, repeating from a center point. So this is an idea that we might want to put in our design today, radial lines that come out from a center in nature. Here's an example in nature of, and it, it starts out here, the pattern, of line and it rounds around this and wraps around and around and around. And this is an example of a spiral in nature, starting in the center, going around and around and around. This is a spiral line. In Another radial design in nature is the center of a pine cone. It starts out at a center point and then it's repeated in radial. And then the, the pine, parts of the pine cones, the petals, come out, kind of flowery looking, and form a radial design. These are freeform shapes here coming out. And then this is just layers of pine cone, layers of the petals of pine cone. But that's a spiral radial design, or not a spiral, but a radial design in nature. Let's look at some lines and pattern in a peacock feather. This, if you look at this pattern, it's kind of a freeform shape in the center. Whoops, I got some glitter on here. It's a freeform shape in the center, and these are like concentric circles or oval shapes. Round and round and round. This is called concentric. See how that forms round and round and round. And then we've got line pattern, just straight lines. Kind of, well, no, they're actually not straight. They're kind of curvy, coming out from the top, radiating out. So these are another, other ways of making line and line pattern that we can find in nature. Thinking about line and pattern, you can even go on a nature hunt and do a sketches of all the lines you find in nature and then put them in your design. This is the design we're going to be using. 
we're going to be making circles on our paper and then we're going to fill up the circles with pattern. And to do this, we're gonna go ahead, take a piece of paper, and we're gonna take some circle shapes. You can use compasses or what's quick and easy is just plastic containers. So to start your design, you're gonna take and draw some circles. When you draw your circles, do this slowly and carefully. And I'm going right to black pen. You can use black pen or colored markers and you're tracing it carefully around. If you do it quickly like this and not carefully, it can become pretty messy. That's not having very good craftsmanship. If you do it slowly and take your time, you're gonna have a much better craftsmanship. It's gonna look better. It's going to look neater. So take your time, go slowly and carefully, hold your tracing sh shape, and you can find varieties of shapes of circles around the room. You can find small, large, and these are just plastic containers, or like I said, you can use a compass. And you want to do these shapes, I'm going to use the bottom of this one, this will be smaller, and you want to use a variety of shapes and a variety of circles. You can even have them overlap and go off the page. So this is going right off the page. The only thing is I don't want you to put them on top of each other. And it's better for your design if you have about, uh, if you have an odd number of designs, an odd number of circles. So I'm going to do, whoops, this one didn't trace. I'm going to do five. So if you have five, seven, nine, those are odd number circles. It just looks better for your design. Once you have most of the paper filled with your circles, and like I say most, you know, there's a little bit of negative space behind the circles, then start filling it with pattern and design. Try and think of all different kinds of patterns that you can invent. And when you do this, remember craftsmanship. Start off going slow and careful. Say I want to do diagonal lines. I carefully place my diagonal lines and I'm making sure that they're intersecting the other line exactly. They're meeting the exact line. And this is what I mean by this, watch. This line did not quite meet See, it didn't quite end. Watch, if I did it carelessly, it may not touch. When you're making line and graphic design patterns like this, you wanna do it really carefully and neatly. And this is all part of craftsmanship. If you overshoot a line, look at this, right here. Don't worry, you can easily fix it by just thickening up the edges here. This helps with your craftsmanship. See what I've done here? I'm just drawing around it like that. So each circle you're going to fill with your own pattern and design. Once you've done each circle, you can work up design in this negative space if you'd like. You can build from this design. You can even connect them. What I did was I connected all of mine together with a line. So it kind of makes it look like floating balloons or a floating flowers or flowers design. I kind of wanted it to give a, a flowery feel, so I made petals, different kind of interesting petals. But once you've done all your design, then you can pretend each one of these is decorated, then you work on your background. And again, your craftsmanship. Look at this. Assess it. Does this look done to you, or do you want to build more line with it? Well, you can add more lines going diagonally or cross hatching. Yeah, make checkerboards. You assess and then you say, mm, is this done? Or maybe you want to color in every other checkerboard in your pattern. So there's hundreds and thousands of different combinations that you can come up with with your line and design pattern and just keep on building from here. 
till you have an interesting design that's pleasing to you. And again, craftsmanship and effort. That's what you want to put into your line design. And have fun exploring line and pattern.